Hi Virgo, Happy New Year 2021. It's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. I'm here with your January 2021 tarot reading. Uh, let's see what we have for you this month. I'm also pulling an oracle card for everyone from the Nature's Whispers guidebook. And just to a little side note, it's always nice to have the stone of the month either in your pillowcase or a palm stone, a piece of jewelry to help you with the energies of the month. So this month, January's garnet. So we have some garnets here for our reading to maybe help everybody with the energies for this month. But let's see what we're starting with for you. Okay, let's see, Virgo. Look at this. I always look at the ones that, um, the, <laughs> the aces as the hand of God. So here, it's like, um, to me, it's like a major, okay? Even though they're not major arcana, but to me, it's like God's giving you this extra blessing. So the Ace of Wands is like God giving you the staff, the rod, the wands, okay? The inspiration, the passion, the energy, the drive to go forward, to forge something, to generate something. Okay, this is great energy for you. It's healing energy, but it's also life energy. This could be the announcement of a pregnancy, the birth of a child, um, renewed life energy in you, Virgo. And you know Virgo is the physical body in the astrology, in the zodiac. So this could be a time of great healing for you. We know that it's a new spark of energy or passion in something. Now, yes, people say, oh, passion in my relationship, and they roll their eyes. Yeah, so for some people, yes. But the passion is the things that we um, feel this strong connection to, drive toward, energy of. So there's something maybe that you lost interest in or you had no energy to partake in. This is the energy to give you that oomph, that drive to pick up the wand again and continue on. So whether it's with your health, work, home, school, relationships, because remembering the wands all work in a social situation, it could be a renewed passion for something in that area in your life. You know, maybe you're feeling more uplifted right now. And you feel like you want more in your life. You know, you're thirsty for something more than what you had. Now, to me, this card would represent in our northern hemisphere summer and in our southern hemisphere winter. So this would be with the summer solstice, which would be June 19th or 2021st. I'm not sure when it is this year, 2021. Now, yes, I know this is going beyond the three months, and my short readings go up to three months. But this is in the past position. So we could be talking about something that was going on with your energy levels at that time, okay? And like I said, for um, the Southern Hemisphere, it would be winter, so that would sit with right now. So it could be something that was going on with your energy that's going to be changing, and you're going to be feeling more energy again, more energized, more life, vitality, vim, and vigor, because the wands are actually the seed of life, actual conception, okay? It is that sacred masculine energy, and we all have masculine feminine energy. All right, well, two of cups. This could very well be a pregnancy, the announcement of the birth of a child or a conception, something to do with renewed life in a relationship also. Because the two of cups is a beautiful card. It talks about an even exchange between two people. You know, giving and receiving, not I gave and he took or vice versa. This is an even exchange. You're seeing eye to eye and there's a spark between you. So for some of you, this could very well be the beginning of a new relationship, all right? Starting something new. You started out maybe just as friends or just chit-chatting, maybe back in this time frame, all right? But it's blossoming into something deeper. And when we look at the cups, we know it is our emotions. So with this, it is how we are feeling about this person, how we are feeling about ourselves. Very beautiful, Venus in Cancer. And by the way, it does fall into this time frame. It's June 21st, 
to July 1st. So that would be just around the summer in the Northern Hemisphere too. Um, but this could be a relationship picking up. Others of you, it's something that you were working on that um, maybe you felt a little stagnant on it. Maybe, hey, maybe the virus put a kibosh on a business you were doing or a side hustle or something you had planned on, a wedding, and like, or getting pregnant or an engagement, graduation, communions, right? Uh, confirmations, any major party, quinceañeras, okay? So this could be that it was it was put off and now it's like something you can fall in love with all over again and you can begin to um, bring into form. Like with Venus and Cancer, Venus is material things, love, wealth, your core values and Cancer is your home, your inner strengths, but it's how you love, nurture, care and protect others. It is that mothering feeling. So with that being said, this card is offering this even exchange for you with this person, situation or thing that it's time for you to Build on it. Emotionally, you're safe with this person or situation. If there was any doubt or you felt drained, now you have not only the energy and inspiration, you have the, um, and passion, you have the, the sense, like you're feeling it. You're really feeling, you know, like I say, you have those spidey senses, Virgo. This is you're really feeling a joy and even exchange that you feel like you're ready to embark on this. You know, if things were stagnant in a relationship, this is definitely a healing and going forward and maybe a big change in your lives between the two of you, okay? Yeah, look at this. Okay, now so you have fire, water, earth. So, so far you're the only one who's had all, let's see if we can get uh, some air, but you are ruled by Mercury. Mercury is air, even though you're an earth sign. Yeah, you're starting something new. You're embarking something new. This could definitely be a pregnancy, okay, for sure. Um, now, we know that this is going to be our Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. If it's a child up until the age of 18, it could be something going on with the child. Maybe you'll be giving birth to a child in that sign. Um, and also, if it's something going on with this child, like, you know, if you met someone and they have a young child and this fits into it, there could be um, that you're moving in together, you get engaged, you get married, you adopt this child as your own, okay? This child loves to learn. They are good with either sports or athletics or even agriculture. You know, some people say, oh, this is the nerdy child. Yeah, well, it could be. It doesn't matter. They show a sense of intellect and love for um, the earth and nature. For others of you, this is definitely you're starting something new, Virgo. You like this renewed passion and you are joining either partnering with like a loved one or a friend or a business. You're starting new. It feels like you're a child, a novice going forward. You know, it could even be something like you decided back in the summertime and now you've been working on this and you have a new plan. You know, the field is clear, but yet things are growing under their feet. Maybe you're going to be building a new home. Maybe you're moving to a new home because this is all earthly things. Something material going on that um, you're starting and embarking. For others of you, it's going to be a different course of study or vocation trade. And it's something you fell in love with a while back you couldn't go forward with, and now you have the go-ahead to start this new, um, like I said, job, side hustle, vocation, trade, changing your major completely. And for my musician friends, it could be something you were working on all these months and collaborating with someone else, and it's time for you to bring it forward, okay? And you've been working on this very diligently, like a child, innocent, exploring, loving it. And remembering too, the pentacles do bring coins into our life. You know, it's a way of bringing money. So maybe there's something new coming to you about money, but I always look at it as education as well. And something you lovingly do that brings that coin into your life, but also grounded stability for you, Virgo. If something is changing up major, I'm telling you, Virgo, the last three, four months has been very interesting, very interesting. Uh, and you know, because you're so resolute and you look to discern the, the truth in the long term. This is very different energy for you the last few months. This is like you throwing caution to the wind and just saying, ah, what the hell? You know, and taking this leap of faith and starting something new and fantastic in your life that you look back on and say, what the heck was I waiting for? Why did I keep saying no to this? Or why was I so afraid? It's okay. It's your path. And you're figuring it out because you have a very cautious person. 
you know, and you're always taking care of everybody else. This is about you taking care of you. And like I said, feeling this new energy and grounded, very young and alive again and fearless. You know, like when you were a kid, you were, you know, even though you're a Virgo, you were cautious, but you were more uh, inclined to try different things. And this is about that. And I just see this very empowering energy in an open field. Like I said, you might be going somewhere else that's more like country or very suburban or or rural, you know, either with your work or where you're living. And this could also be a beginning of something very homeopathic for you and healing too, okay? Oh, there it is. Bam. Did I say it? We were looking for an air card. All right. Fire, water, earth, air. Now, Mercury rules Virgo as well as Gemini, and it's the mental realm. But this is the queen of air. So the queens read life into the king's ideas, but she's very mental realm because she's the air sign. All the queens represent emotions, which is water. So here she's got this cool intellect, very Virgoing, right? You don't show your emotions. People call you the ice queen, but you're not cold and icy. You just keep your emotions guarded and in check. And it can be what causes all those anxiety attacks and ajita because you do rule that part of the body with um, um, anxieties and and. You know, like I said, digestive problems because you keep your emotions in. It's good to let it out. You know, I'm not saying go cray cray and screaming, but it's good to show your emotions. It's a good purge for you. That being said, this queen has been through a lot. She's carried a lot of weight on her shoulders. To me, this is someone 35, 40 or older. It could be male or female because in the tarot, it's androgynous. But this is someone who's offering a hand to you. So this could be Gemini. Libra, Aquarius. We are entering Aquarius in January. We are in the Gemini North Node, okay? And that's your sister Mercury sign or brother Mercury sign. So we do have all the, and Libra, you know, is about harmonic balance. And the air signs are cool, aloof, elusive, sometimes dismissive or disconnected on a lower vibration. But in the higher vibration, they are logical and methodical. And you like to think that way, all right? You are about logic and making clear-cut decisions. You weigh things out. You figure it out. You go back and forth. So there's a lot of that energy in you. But where this queen is going is what I'm looking to, where she's going, where she's offering, okay? So it could be you making uh, big decisions and a big change in your life with this partner or this person saying, okay, let's go, you know, and they're here as a helping hand for you. Whether this is a teacher, a parent, a sibling, a cousin, um, a partner, a husband, wife, this person is offering you like the let's go. You know, the sword is up. It's cleared the way. All the cloud cover is going solid ground. This is a big change for you, Virgo. And like I said, this, this person is helping you go that way. They're giving you the hand to help you. They offer clear, logical advice. They're no nonsense. If this is a woman, an air sign, she tells you how it is. She doesn't sugarcoat it. Um, if this is a male, he is direct, but more gentle in the way he speaks than the air sign, uh, women. Um, the women of the air signs, they're very, they could be sharp tongued and whatnot. But in the men, it's more like delivering this very practical decision. I would say that she's Mrs. Spock. She makes these clear cut decisions, but she's not going to lie to you. She offers good advice to you, whether you want to hear it or not. Um, and it even could be someone you know who has the ascendant in an air sign. But I do feel like this is a time for you to be moving out of what you had that was stagnant and you have this idea for something new like let's go let's take the plunge and everything's going to be clear and victorious for you it's time it's time to move on okay virgo wow that's a good reading but you're the only one so far has all four elements this month you know so a lot of energies are coming up for you this month but they're all positive and i know you could uh Make things happen, Virgo, because, you know, you're very good at manifesting. As long as you keep your thoughts in a positive, loving way. Get out of the worry wart. I know it's part of you, but 
Think of how much more you could accomplish easily with less worry in your life. All right, let's see what added message we have for our Virgo in and Virgo-centric people for the month of January 2021. Spirit, what do we have for Virgo? Clarify, maybe? We're getting the word clarify. Clarity. What are we talking about for our Virgo and energy? All right. Seek beauty. Wow, number 44. So it's a master number. All right. Fours talk about completion, Virgo. Stability, things being grounded. Doubling that number. You mastering this in your life. Grounded stability. And you know what? Virgo does seek that. So now, Seeking Beauty says, this is a time to reflect on love and to seek out beauty. Create memories. Take time to enjoy your experiences, celebrations, and special occasions. Oh, wow, we were just talking about that. Celebrating um, different uh, events in people's lives. Wow. The recollection of happy moments will support you. Look not only in the world around you, but also within. Seek out the loving qualities that you appreciate about yourself. Search for your own beauty. Look at yourself and the world around you from a new perspective. You know, you could look at this card and remembering in the tarot, all the colors and the images are symbolic. Now for you and for me, Something we see here may be indicative of a specific person or memory in our life, and it may be different for each of us. It doesn't matter. Just make the connection. I love that she's incorporating here, and I never noticed that before. And the woman's hair is the beautiful dandelion tuft that you make wishes on. And she's radiant here. She's reflective. See, over the water... And that's being very receptive also. So be reflective of your memories and past, but also seek the beauty and the change that's possible in your life. Trust yourself, Virgo. You will make a bad choice. This is a beautiful time for you. So thank you for watching. I hope this reading does help you. Thank you, Spirit. I wish you a great January, a great new year. And, you know, I always wish you the best, whatever that is. See you guys next month.